now, let's go to the movies with Christopher Walken and Robert Loja. <sighs> this weekend, we rented Rocky Balboa. Now, I love this movie, but seriously, what's up with that title? It's the lone thing by losing the numbers at the end, we would somehow forget that Rocky 4 and 5 exist. Sorry, pal, those movies are irreversibly burned into my brain pan. Like the tattoo of John Candy I had irreversibly burned onto my left ass cheek during some <laughs> drunken downtime while shooting Armed and Dangerous with him and Eugene Levy. We all did it. Ask Levy sometime to show you the half-finished tat of yours truly beautifully rendered on his taint. <laughs> anyway, after watching this film, my four-year-old grandson showed off at dinner by counting. He said, Grandpa, listen. One... Two, three, four, five, Balboa. <laughs> Thanks, Sly, for ruining Robert Loja III's dreams of becoming an astronaut. Hope he enjoys a fruitful career at Hot Dog on a Stick. Hey, careful what you say there, Bobby. I own stock in that place. Rocky Balboa is a movie about Rocky Balboa, a two-time boxing champion of the world who's now retired and runs a restaurant named after his now dead wife, Adrian. It's called Adrian's. His son is grown now. It's played by that one kid from Heroes that can steal everyone else's powers. Anyway, some guys on ESPN run a virtual fight through their computer between Rocky in his prime and the current champ, Mason the Lion Dixon. The computer determines that Rocky would kick his ass. This makes sense to me, as Rocky has already kicked the asses of Hulk Hogan, Dolph Lundgren, Mr. T, and Action Jackson. <laughs> but it's also a quiet, thoughtful film about staying strong through the hardships life throws at you. It's really a perfect book in for the series. I gotta tell you, Bobby, I love this movie. And it's heartbreaking to me that Stallone wasn't nominated for his acting. I give it two big tubs of popcorn. <laughs> I'm with you, crazy hair. <laughs> this is the type of movie they don't make anymore. It's about what it's like to be a real man. Sure, you support your family and take care of the troubled neighborhood kids, but at the end of the day, you can also kick the living crap out of the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. Reminds me of the time I took my daughter out for tea when the waiter charged us for a refill. I met him out behind the restaurant and cleaned his clock with a torque wrench I keep in my sock. Then I paid what I really owed and took my daughter to Denny's for some moons over my hammy. You know, like a real man. Not bad for a 70 Balboa year old guy. Anyway, this movie with Stallone's easygoing charm and subtle script reminded me of why we all fell in love with this character way back in the 70s. I also give it two big tubs of popcorn. And when we come back, we'll all take a look at my boy Will Ferrell's latest comedy, Blades of Glory. In the meantime, I'm going to have a hot dog. <laughs> Seriously, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <sighs> Stay tuned for more Let's Go to the Movies with Christopher Walken and Robert Loja.